Hi guys, welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Today I am about to plant my strawberries. Mm, there go my air conditioner. So let me turn the camera around. Okay, I just have two um, little things of strawberries that I'm going to plant. Okay, I topped off the soil from last year in this bucket uh, with some compost and some more soil and I added this casting, worm casting and I'm going to add some of this garden tone for some additional fertilization for the soil. Just going to pour it on top of here um, really good, probably maybe two tablespoons or so. And then I'm just going to mix it in really, really good. Make sure it's all combined so that the fertilizer is not in one spot. And then just level this out a little bit. And then I'm going to take the strawberries out of the pot. And I'm going to gently separate these. Um, trying not to to stir the roots so just gently find you know and let them separate on their own and pull them apart really easily you don't want to rip the roots off of them when you're trying to pull them apart and this had three in there one big one and then two kind of small ones but kind of you know shake them gently to get the roots apart so that you don't rip them apart then I'm going to do the same thing with the second pot. And these are Bonnie Select um, Berry Basket Pink Strawberries. I got these from Lowe's. And you see this one, it, it already has a berry on it. And again, remember when you're pulling them apart to try to be very gentle with the roots so you don't. Um, break them just you know shake it a little bit they'll come apart as long as you don't rip them and rip the roots and that could destroy the plant see here it looks like I'm being rough but I'm not it's very gentle pulling them apart and then you can fluff the ends of the root and dig a hole when you're digging the hole, make sure that you do not put the soil that you're planting in over top of the top of the plant because you don't want to smother it. That's how the new um, roots and stuff grow out of it. So make sure that the top, very top of the soil is sticking out a little bit and it's not completely covered by the soil that you're planting them in because you want it to continue to grow. and make leaves if you smother it then it dies and you, the leaves will start turning brown so just make sure you don't bury it too deep let the very top of it um, from the original soil not be under the ground just so it can continue to grow And make sure when you're digging down deep that you're digging deep enough for um, the roots. The roots are kind of long, so just dig down a little deep and make sure that you're getting the roots down in there good. You can wrap them in a circle if you want to. That's up to you, but I just usually try to dig a deep, deep enough trench for the roots to go down into. But just keep making sure that you don't cover the top of the strawberry. That's the main thing where the soil is. You see, I keep wiping around it. I don't want to smother the top of it because it'll prevent them from growing. Like I said, and kill them off. So just make sure that you just gently put them in there and don't cover it. Okay, I 
I got them all in there. Let's give you a close up. Okay, as you can see, two of them already have strawberries on them. You can see that they have little buds growing there for new strawberries where the flowers were. Let me get some rain water to water them in. I catch rain in these barrels here and get my container. This is a gallon container to get some water out of it. And make sure when you water them, once you, when you first plant them, make sure that you water them really, really well. You can water the soil before um, you start to plant as well. That's usually best, but I did not. Um, so either way, just make sure you water them in really, really good once you get them in the ground so that they don't go into shock. And it's best to do this early in the morning or late in the evening so it's not bright, the sun. And they don't go into shock from the sun. So I'm doing mine in the evening. But some people like to do them early in the morning. So I'm going to get a little bit more water. So I put about two gallons of water on here. And water them in one more time so it's enough when you first plant them you try to water them you know every day for at least the first few days to make sure that they are acclimated to the soil that you're putting them in That is it for planting my strawberries. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment below and let me know. And yeah, have a great day.